vertigo and dizziness are very common symptoms. One morning, you just wake up to sit up and feel the house is spinning around like an upside down. Even when you lie down again, you will feel more and more dizzy when you turn your head and neck in a certain direction. The vertigo lasts for only a few decades to more than a minute and is repeated, possibly with vomiting. Many, severe headaches, it is the typical symptom of benign paroxysmal postural vertigo. Benign paroxysmal postural vertigo is very common in all ages both sexes but dominant in middle age. The feeling of dizziness comes on very suddenly with strong intensity that easily causes the patient to feel panic as if afraid of an impending stroke. Let's take a look at the mechanism of the occurrence of vertigo in a common manifestation of benign paroxysmal postural vertigo that is referred to as a general medical state vestibular disorders. Vertigo is a hallucinogenic state of body movement or surroundings and is a major manifestation of balance disorder. Balance is the ability to maintain the orientation of the body to outer space, it depends on visual convictions, vestibular and ontological deep sensations in which the vestibular system they it is often heard that they play an important role in transmitting information to the brain. So when the vestibular system is damaged vertigo and associated symptoms such as vomiting, eye roll, and unbalance are feeling pushed, swayed, or wobbly. In peripheral vestibular disorders such as in benign orthostatic dizziness, Meniere's disease, vestibular neuritis, vertigo often causes more discomfort than central lesions but occurs intermittently short and may be accompanied by damage to the auditory nerve such as ringing in the ears or deafness as for vertigo caused by central damage. The intensity is usually not as intense but there are dangerous signs of CNS damage such as visual disturbances, severe headache, slurred speech, numbness, weakness. Prevent vertigo at home 1. Vertigo diet when there is a change, increase or decrease in the volume of fluid in the inner ear components, the onset of vertigo can be triggered. Therefore, patients who often experience vertigo relapses need to adjust their diet to avoid changing the volume of fluid in the organs in the body. Drink enough water every day. Add more water if you are thirsty, feeling lightheaded, exercising a lot or it's hot. Limit foods and drink sweet or salty because it will increase the volume of fluid of the body and of the inner ear. Avoid drinking coffee or alcohol, beer, alcohol because it will make tinnitus worse causing diuretic and dehydration. Avoid foods containing the amino acid tyramine because it can trigger the onset of migraine, headache with vertigo such as red wine, chicken liver, bacon, yogurt, chocolate banana, orange tangerines, lemon figs, cheese, nuts. 2. Avoid non-food substances. Certain substances can aggravate symptoms of vestibular disorders such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs e.g. aspirin can make tinnitus worse. Ibuprofen causes fluid retention, electrolyte disturbance, nicotine, and tobacco causing complications atrophy of blood vessels in the body, increasing blood pressure, reducing blood flow to the inner ear. 3. The movement measures at home The benign pastoral vertigo cases can be overcome by taking some of the following measures at home. Avoid abrupt posture changes, especially from lying to standing or turning. Have to imagine in mind a full glass of water. When changing positions do not pour water out because it will cause vertigo. From the lying position, slowly switch to sitting, hold the position for 5 to 10 minutes, then slowly get up. Always keep your head looking straight ahead, not bending down or turning your head back and forth. Severe cases may need a fixed collar brace to limit head movement. Try to lie to rest, absolutely, in bed, avoid bright light because most vertigo will go away on their own after a few weeks. Avoid anxiety, stress, limit thinking, read books, watch TV. Avoid driving, operating machinery or climbing stairs while experiencing vertigo or while taking medication to treat vertigo that causes drowsiness. 4. Ebley and Somont exercises Each exercise lasts about 15 minutes. The solution consists of movements that rotate head body to four directions front back left right. Each position is held for 30 seconds. The exercise in figure 1 is used for the affected patient in the right ear. 
position of sit upright on the lower part of the bed with the head face looking straight ahead posture B lie on your back on the bed then quickly turn your head to the right 45 degrees while your body is still lying on your back C pose quickly turn head to the left 45 degrees do not move the body D posture rapid full body rotation head head still in left leaning position when rotating to the left left inclination this will rotate the head to the left and back. E pose rapid rotation of body. Head back to lying on the back on the bed and then sit up straight like the original. Posture A. The exercise according to figure 2 is intended for the affected patient in the left ear. Initially, you can only practice one time at night just before going to bed. If you have vertigo, you will go to bed then increase to two to three times a day. The effective rate is 80% of the cases and the recurrence rate after the treatment is 30% per year. 5. Brand ROF exercise is used when the above treatment fails or relapses vertigo. The success rate is in 95% of cases but the implementation is more difficult than the above test. Each position is held for 30 seconds. Position 1. Sit upright and head face looking straight ahead. Position 2, fall over the body to one side, right and lie down on the bed, lie on your side. Quickly turn your head 45 degrees so that your face is facing the ceiling, stay in this position for 30 seconds or you can hold for longer. Until vertigo ends. Posture 3, quickly turn your head back to lying on your side, then sit up straight like position 1. Posture 4, lie on your side in the bed like posture 2 but on the opposite side left and also quickly turn your head up towards the ceiling. Each session exercises 5 times of 10 minute exercise and 3 sessions of exercise morning, noon, afternoon, a day. Practice regularly for 2 to 3 weeks and we'll see all vertigo after about 10 days. About 30% of patients have relapses in the first year and they perform exercises for an additional 10 minutes per day. This article is for reference only and is not a substitute for medical diagnosis or treatment.